Hello, how's it going? Alright, Bean? Right then, let me just uh, change it over. Right, Coolio. I quite like the music on the menu. Oh, you did a huge amount, but it seems quite cool. So I'm using I'm using the original sticker comes with it, well the one you buy. <laughs> yeah, it is a very nice cab. I think I'd probably be when it comes to CRT cabs it would be the ultimate cab to have, I think. I've been looking on uh, UK VAC as well, and there's egrets gone on sale for there for about uh, 900 quid. So it looks like I'm going to need a grand to 900 quid to get one. And uh, you can get rough, rough ones for cheaper, but I don't know, you won't want us working with it. Right, don't you? I'm okay, buddy. I'm fine. Well, I say fine. I think I, I, think I come to a cold or something. But I don't know. We'll see. Say Operation Vulix is definitely. Uh, I'm I'm on the sell like you wouldn't believe. I've done a few trades, so I did have a bit more money than I had now. But I did. Um, I bought another item to sell uh, to sell. So uh, if I can get them s sold, I should be well on the way to uh, getting one. Yeah, I am going to get a Vulix. Oh no, you've got it, though. That's not good. Hope we're feeling okay. I say we're we're all gonna get it at some point. It's it's inevitable. Just like Thanos. I'm inevitable. Yeah, I hope you're not feeling too bad, buddy. Right, anyway. So I'm using the arcade stick, which I will say it is a bit small and there's no palm room whatsoever. But the stick seems quite nice, and I've got it on my desk. Hopefully, it won't move, won't move around so much. But I'm gonna I'm gonna play using the stick tonight anyway, so you can really see what's uh, what it's gonna feel like when I'm using it. You just got a cold boot. That's like an awful few other um, the jabs that help you out there. I, mean, I think if if my cold gets worse in the morning, I think I'm gonna have to test myself. My mother's got a cold, though, but it's not it's not COVID. I've tested her a couple of times, so I think she's just picked up a bit of a, a flu or something. So, which well, not flu, but um, sort of like a chesty sort of I don't know, just general winter thing. So I think I'm probably picking up that, but I'll test just in case. <laughs> yep, this is new. This is the brand new um, Egret Two Mini. Um, I didn't buy it because I, I did cancel mine tonight, but um, my mate bought his, and he said, "Oh, you can, you can just, you can just borrow it." So I was like, "Oh, okay." To do a review and play on it, so pretty much it's here. I got everything that comes with it. The unit itself is quite nice. It's got um, a quite nice joystick. It's a bigger joystick than the one on the Astro City Mini. It's more like a normal size one. Well, I don't know. It's in between a half size and a three quarter size, I'd say. And the buttons feel like the ones on the Astro City. Uh, screen's not pretty nice on the machine. But I, I have been, I have been, I've been messing around with video editing to try and see if I could work out what the input lag is. And I think it's about five frames. So I don't know whether the screen on the unit itself is adding a couple of frames of lag, I don't know. But when I did play this last night, me and my mates were playing it, uh, we did notice it. So it, it does have, it does have some noticeable lag to it. I know, yeah. So anyway, we got some interesting games. I, I found some weird caveats with it as well. Um, how am I going to do this? How do I actually get to the menus? I can't remember. There's a button to go into the menus. Right, I found you can change the volume on here and you can change... The wallpaper's quite good. It seems to be wallpaper per game, which is quite a nice feature. Um, if you turn the filter on, you seem to get blurry graphics. And if you turn the filter off, you get sharp... Gra uh, you turn the filter on, you get sharp graphics. You turn it off, you get blurry graphics. So I think they might have messed up there. Um... Oh, there's different BM, BGMs. That's cool, didn't notice that. I haven't really played around with the settings much. 
I quite like the demo set, and it starts going through different games, which is quite nice. Do, 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 do. I think I prefer the first one. That's quite cool, they give you an option of three different uh, menu BGMs. If you got your general language, you notice your staff, you know, factory reset, that type of thing. So not, not a huge amount in the options. I think I still prefer A. Um, so, as long as I think I left that on. So I'm going to leave the... I'm going to leave the filter... I'm going to leave the filter off and then we'll put it back on. So the arcade stick, the, the actual joystick, I think it's, it's not far off a normal sized joystick. I think it might actually be a normal sized joystick. And the buttons um, seem like normal arcade buttons. I've also found that uh, you need quite a bit of power for this machine. Uh, if you plug it into your PC, it'll play for a while and then cut off. The same if I plugged it into um, I plugged it into something else USB, and it's the same. So you you really need to have um, an adapter for it. So it is a little bit more power hungry, like the PlayStation one is. So it must be a bit of a higher chipset or something. So you can. I found something just before putting it on as well. When you put the SD card on the side, which gives you the um, the spinner and the rollerball games, you have to plug the spinner and the rollerball in. Otherwise, it just comes up with a warning saying, saying for you to plug it in. So, leaving the SD card inside it, with the games on it, you are going to have to keep that spinner controller plugged in. Or remove the card. And the card is a bit of a... It's a bit awkward to get out. But you can control the spinner games with the joystick. And you basically, if you don't hold down button 2, uh, it goes slow. If you hold down button uh, 2, you move fast. So uh, I suppose there's that. You can control it. So. I've noticed one thing as well. I didn't notice this either. It's only giving me the spinner games. Interesting. So when you've got... See... That's a bit of a shit, isn't it, really? That you've got to take that SD card out. When you're not playing it, you want to go back to the normal arcade games. That's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Why the hell do they do that? Why didn't they just add these games to the list? Hmm. Right, okay then. Seems we have to play the games, because I've got them plugged in. I'll check the spinner. The controller one, we'll try some of the spinner games. Yeah, so that that's a bit of a that's a bit of a downfall, I think, just to be honest. So the the joystick is quite heavy as well, but the spin is quite light. But the actual spinner itself and the um, the spinner and the actual uh, what's called the ball thing, they actually they feel really nice. They feel like they weighted, and the spinner feels like it's on all bearings. All right, retro alarm, how's it going? So, seeing as we stuck in here, we were playing Ar Arcanoid last night and we all failed to get past the first level. So let's kick a bit of Arcanoid off. One, <laughs> the other thing I will say, not being used to a spinner and a rollerball, playing games on a spinner and a rollerball is like learning a new controller. <laughs> I'm just not very good at it. The spinner, you've got to, it's got some weight to it, so you've got to, it's going to take a bit of uh, getting used to. Oh, I, I don't know, I can't do the uh, first one. See? Do you see, it's got, I don't know if you can notice it, it's got a blur filter. Now, with the filter off, it gives you the slight blur filter, like a, like a bilinear filter. And if I turn that filter off, you get nice sharp graphics. It's getting used to how, how fast you want to turn that spinner. Because you can literally go like that with it. Ah! 
fail. I, I'd, I'd like to know where the difficulty ramps up, Retro, because um, I can't get that far. <laughs> yeah, so it's, they've messed the filters up on you. They, in the menu, they've gone backwards. I don't really know how nobody noticed that, but... It's <sighs> getting used to using the spinner. It's cool, though, to be able to play these games as they were intended, even though I can't play it. And you'll notice the background wallpaper is per game, which is a nice touch. Oh. I you updating the miss too? Nice. Yeah, so I can't do the first level. That's my goal tonight, is to do level one. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. I wonder if the power-ups last really long. I'm going to dodge the... Uh... Nope, they went they out. Hey, no worries, buddy. Nice to, nice to see you join in, as always. This is a classic. Used to see this in the arcades quite a lot. <sighs> Nearly messed that up. No! Two left! <sighs> yeah, the sequel's even better, isn't it? Yeah, I think it, the sequel's on pretty much everything, wasn't it? Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that filter off shortly, and you'll you'll see what I mean. And hopefully, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, I definitely get stronger, but it's it's learning how to use the spinner properly. And learning how fast to move it. It's like, it's, it almost feels like completely foreign, which is quite funny. said so if I go if I hold on the menu button for a second you've got to use the rollerball to actually do the menus and I go to actually I don't know if I can do it from here no I can't oh I can't change the menu from here that's a bummer Two screens there, that's the way. Sounds like me, guys. When watching streams, I'm usually watching uh, two different things or doing two, two different things. The top of the spinner is plastic. It feels alright, though. Yeah, I remember playing the ST and the Amiga version back in the day as well. See, this, this game is everywhere, wasn't it? Oh, 
Oh, maybe. Oh, my beauties, destroy it. It's getting that sort of ah, flick as well. I don't know. It was probably on DOS as well, wasn't it? I expect. Well, we nearly do a level one. They once spent a huge amount of time on, on the spinner games, but um, there's some interesting ones on yet. Ah, yeah, it's, it's weird. It is like it is like sort of learning a new controller. It's quite cool though to play with a with this controller. Yeah, I just I want I want to find out with if this is pretty you know worth playing on the screen. It, it seems right so far. See, so it is noticeably that it does have some lag though. So, but I was expecting some. Come on, hit those blocks. See, I had to flick that spinner quite fast then to get over there. Oh, come on. Yes! <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. Oh, I got to level two. A success. That's better than last night when I was playing it. So, we've all done that for a second. <laughs> so, can I do the same on Revenge of Dope? Or Revenge of Dope? <laughs> like, I say the bilinear field, it doesn't look too bad, to be honest, but it... it it is. It does give a little softer edge to everything. This is the one that everyone used to play a lot, wasn't it? See, they've changed the wallpaper again, which is quite cool. The wallpaper seems funky. Tricky level straight off. Uh, you didn't like it much, Jim. Yeah, I, I don't know why they've sort of redone it again, if you know what I mean. They like, they're redoing Batman too many times, they, to be honest. I'm not that bothered about seeing it. Too fast, then. Okay, can't get past level one on this either. I'll go around the scene at some point. Not EGA graphics, are they? Okay. So it's tricky. Again, I say it does have a it does have a nice feel to the spinner. It is a bit of weight to it. Oh, I thought it was there.
going to be solid to do this first level. Ooh, what's that? Oh god, that's not good. Ah, not fast enough. Okay, I can. Um, I don't know. You might be able to. Who knows? You can put an SD card in here. Apparently, somebody's already tried just chucking bombs in there. It doesn't work. Yeah, it might be COVID. Hopefully not, but I'll test myself just to make sure. <laughs> COVID, I'm good anyway. Just the government had just stuck their uh, head in the sand, so. Once you once you play the spinner for a little bit, you'll start getting used to it. It's quite sensitive as well. I definitely don't want to pick up how well done. Yep. Can't do the first level on this either. Oh, well, I do the first level on the first one, I suppose. Ooh, that's cool. Go on, my beauty. Oh, that's an Andy power up, that is. No, I'm playing it on a um, a spinner, a spinner controller. Basically, the eager I mini. Mean, if you buy all the extra controls, you get an arcade stick, a spinner controller, which has got a spinner and a rollerball on it, and that's basically how I'm playing it, like the original arcade one would. You can actually play it on the arcade stick as well, but it, it doesn't give you great control. Yeah, it is. So if you are going to get it, that's the one you hope you get. How's it going, better anyway, right? There's a quite good bowling game on here. An old bowling game, that, work, that works quite well on the rollerball. I expect we'll have some uh, emails from work on uh, Monday discussing the, uh, the general takeover of the ordering system. That'll be uh, an interesting one. It is quite cool to play this on, on a spinner, i got to admit. It doesn't work on Mr. at the moment, the spinner. I did try it. There's no way of configuring it. Um, there is a bit of lag to it, um, according to, if you're playing on the actual unit itself, I did some messing around in a um, video editor, and I, I'm counting about five frames of lag, input lag. So, it is noticeable on the TV, so, but it, from what i played of it so far, it doesn't seem unplayable. But, we, i got to play more stuff on here, really, to see. But, it's quite a nice unit. It's quite cool as a unit. It's not too bad. I, like I say, I do expect some anyway, because it's... Well, it's an emulator, isn't it? But it, it seems decent. It, it's big. It's chunky. It's heavy as well. Surprisingly heavy, like. And, and that, that turning the screen round is quite... Uh, okay. Hey! I've done level 1 by default. Happy now. Even if it was default. Ah. 
tricky game, man. Really tricky. Yeah, the the, the screen rotation is really clever. It, it feels nice as well. You you pop it in, and it pops out spring loaded. And when you turn it, it look. I had a look at it. It looks like there's some sort of round rail on the inside. And as you turn it, you can feel it moving round a, a rail, and then you clip it back in. No, you can't hack it yet, as far as I know. Um, the USB ports are for the controllers. Apparently, the uh, Astro City Mini controllers work on you as well. So you got to use the spinners just like that. So you've got three save spots uh, per game as well. Oh, let's have a go with this. I'm not sure if I've ever played this. Yeah, the screen rotation is really cool. <laughs> the one thing the cab is missing is a base, like the Astro City Mini got. If I had a base as well, it'd look really cool. It's... If you... If you buy the box set all together and everything... It's it's about three it's about three hundred quid for the box set, and they charge two hundred quid delivery, which is insane. But and the box set, you just get an extra couple of CDs and some stickers. But if you buy everything separately on there, you can get it for three hundred and fifteen quid delivered. I'm not going to get one because I've decided to buy a Vulix RK cab. Don't ask. <laughs> Right, is this spinner or rollerball? Spinner. Okay, this is different. Oh, you can jump as well, that's weird. Yep. Oh my god, you can hit it faster when it jumps. Yeah, I've decided to buy one. I'm just in a I'm in a in the middle of trying to get the money for one. Okay, this is quite cool. Oh, that's quite cool. I hope she did that then. Yeah, I'll, I'll sort something out when I get it. Oh god, that goes fast. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in the middle of uh, selling a load of stuff, basically. Ah. Um, you're talking, depending where you buy it now, and the prices have gone up, anything between three and 400 quid for a complete setup. Well worth it, mind. The miss is amazing. Quite like this. Quite interesting with the jump technique. I know a guy on um, eBay that sells them pretty good as well. Whether he's got any in stock, I can uh, give you his um, seller's page. You can, even though he hasn't got them up on the seller's page, you can email him and ask him. This is definitely an interesting one. Ooh. Okay, that little dinosaur. You gotta jump over it. <laughs> yeah, it would. This is quite interesting. I say this spinner got some, it's got some nice weight to it as well. Okay, got it. 
I've got um, two Neo Geo MVS boards, two um, DGM arcade boards, and a 50 in one of old games, you know, like by the Space Invaders and things like that. And I've got a Kung Fu Master. Quite cool. You've got quite a lot of energy, that boss. Ah, so you've got to get it above him. That's interesting. God, oh, this thing does go fast. See, it misses a really nice piece of skin. It gets better. Oh, that's fast. Yeah, you got it from the same cell as I got mine, didn't you, B? That's sneaky with that little dinosaur. <laughs> oh, man, that adds a bit of extra to it. I see like a weird unicorn or something. Oh right, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it's such a good machine, the uh, Mr. And I can tell you, the PlayStation Core is really good. Isn't it? I, Saturn Core, we might not get it for a while. The guy, I think the guy who's making the Saturn Core is Ukrainian. <sighs> this boss is hard. Spinna feels nice if we saw it, you mind. Yay! Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, I've still got them as well. I got the Japanese ones. No, have I got Japanese ones? I might have the power ones, I can't remember. No, I think they're Japanese ones actually. They're good potato memories as well, aren't they? Yeah, there's two of them. Oh. So you got a different wallpaper again now as well. Some pop. Damn, I wasn't expecting the bunks back in. Okay, that's that, that's an interesting game. I quite like that. Here's an interesting one. You can play it on MIM, but you really need to play it in this. You've got to use the rollerball for this. No, I haven't cleared the guy, Joe, but that's never getting cleared out. Never. <laughs> yeah, so this one you gotta do the you gotta roll it in the direction you wanna Mikado did a replay on this one, so... It's weird playing a... a game of a rollable.
You got bosses on this as well. Not my way to put the low charge. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, they're good. The both collections are really nice. Yeah, I'm using the rollerball. The rollerball feels nice. It feels like it's got weight behind it. Won't get through there. It feels weird and like foreign rolling in weird directions. I think it'll take some time to get good at the, at the rollerball now. Ah, come on, come on! Get down here. Oh, no. Got so much charge. Oh, I was like, your charge runs down, so you've got to let go to catch it back. Yeah, I think that Hori controller might be well worth picking up. Seems quite an interesting game. Oh, come on! Ah. I'm gonna have rolling with ever hand. I wouldn't have rather work. Try it out. Try rolling with my. I was rolling it right-handed, uh, left-handed. Actually, that might be better. Ah, come on, move. 
bir işlenci de. If you roll it too fast, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's quite funky. This come on, the snare statue. I can aim my back. I like it. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, you can have it everywhere, can you, basically? It takes some practice to get good at. red stuff kills you as well. Yeah, so that's quite funky. Well, let's get finished, look at it. I'm stuck. It'd be hard if it didn't tell you where to go. I'll not get back. Faster. 
It's got that zoo tata type music to this as well, hasn't it? Down it. Oh, this slowly. What? 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 You gotta roll it quite fast on it. I think so. We'll check out. It might be. I don't know. I don't think it is, though, but... The, the bosses must have weak spots. That was his back then. Interesting. Oh, there's the boss on the uh, right hand side, look, on the, on the wallpaper. Oh, that was it. Pretty cool wallpaper, looks a little bit like um, Ulysses 31. The style of it, like. Okay, that's quite an interesting game, as I quite like it. We'll see. Mind on this, 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 this spinner's not really moving, which is quite nice. I've got it on the mouse map as well. It does have rubber pads on it? I think if you put some neoprene on the bottom of this, it wouldn't move at all. Um, I don't know. I'll have to go through the game. I can't remember exactly what's on you, to be honest. As you go through the spinner games, I'll take the SD card out, which is a bit of a shit, you've got to do that, to be honest, but... I'll take the SD card out, and it'll show all the rest of the games out. That's a bit of a stupid idea, that is. When you've got the SD card in, it'll give you the spinner games. It bypasses the ones on the inside. Why can they just add this to the list? And you've got to have the spinner controller plugged in. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. I've never finished that before. Not if it was a one CC like, but um, we got one more game. So basically, you get ten games on the uh, spinner controller. Actually, we got a few more games. Match card. So let's try. Uh, let's try bird again. The the bowling game is surprisingly fun. Oh, okay. But there's no button then, you have literally gotta Oh here we go in. Oh my god. On the green. Oh, getting to know. <laughs> and he's done it slightly. Then. Oh, this is tricky. This is the worst game of golf ever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you might do, yeah. Um. Oh, it's tricky to get it right. I was a little touch then. Man, this is going to take some practice. Let's try a really crazy one now. I've got to kill the bird. Wrong way. Harder than it looks. This is way harder than it looks. <laughs> That's right. I have one more round. Be funny too, Blair. I'm in the bunker though. Oh god. On the queen! Hey. I know, there's no power be there, weird. Oh, that's a good end. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, just get in that. That way. <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard! <laughs> oh, you shit! I think you got it a little bit, not quite so fast.
<laughs> what in the whole ball? <laughs> oh my god. I just thought uh, I was getting the agape. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's it's, it's fine. I'll give you that. Um, strike bowling is quite good. Oh, strike! Uh, pro probably, I don't know. Double split. <laughs> okay. Ooh, strike. Those ladies are classic, are they? What are they holding? Dead Christmas trees. Seven ten split. No. Oh, nearly. Three, I know. I. <laughs> Dead Christmas trees or something. Some foliage they're all in. They're quite good though. I quite like it. It's going to be another one if uh, you were drunk to have a bit of fun in two player. I was going to league bowling on the Neo Geo mind. That that game's class. Ah, that was terrible. Ooh, strike. Dance for me, go on. Do the can can. I don't know why they do the can can. It's really tricky. <laughs> oh man. It's really tricky to get this right. You can hock it just as you sort of fly over it. Ah, oh, spear. Results, game over. That's not bad. Very fun. It's mad how just having a, a new way of controlling it just feels like feels alien, it's bizarre. Right, I don't think I've ever seen this game before. Cool wallpaper. Oh, I gotta get to the uh, the girly go um, octopus. She looks a catch. Right, okay, so you gotta do a direction. Oh, dead. No. Don't get much on an angle on this one. This one, you can't go and shoot in any direction, but look, really. Um, I'm not sure yet. I need to sort of uh, play it a bit more. Oh, 
Actually, it does, it does have a little bit of input lag. Oh, you only get a couple of goals, dude. That's hard. Okay, that's difficult. Try again. Oh, good shot. It's going to build anyway, right? Yeah, I need to play it a bit more first. Seems a nice bit of kit. It does have a little bit of input lag, mine, but... Oh, it's a shark's mouth. It's going to get his end away then, if the, they do have end, I have no idea. But this game's pretty old. get the angles you you literally got like there's um there's eight way on this you can't go in between it okay myself, not do that. Ah, I've near the end as well. Oh, one shot. Is that I don't think I've ever played that. Yeah, it's only eight way movement, so seen this before. On 
roll now. Um, okay, let's try... That was a lucky stop in. That's a crab in. I needed some sugar to rot his teeth. <laughs> Got level 10. weird it's on the 8 way though. It's literally just 8 way movement bouncing off everything. When did that actually come out? It's a bit of credit, isn't it? 81, but yeah, it's an old one now, isn't it? Quite colourful for a game from 81, mind. Don't think so. I don't think it give me any extra. It may maybe it give me another turn or something. It looks like you got like four turns. There might be a little bit more to it. I'm not sure. Okay, let's try it. Now I've heard of this game, but I've never played it. Didn't this get converted to some kind of satin, maybe possibly? I like I like the change in the wallpapers all the time. That's cool. Ah, this must be a more uh, modern board, obviously. I guess this is like Bubble Bobble we're using the... Uh, is it the spinner or the uh, rollerball? Or it's the spinner. It should make sense if it's a spinner mind, I gotta admit. Was it? Oh no, it's a cool Mark and I type game. Didn't know what? It's like puzzle bobble but puzzle uh, uh aconite. Wobble aconite, that's what I should call it. This may have come out on the side. What's up? 
okay. You know what he likes? Ruby? Ruby? That's what he likes. <laughs> I like this guy's style. I said, Ubi for the win. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I'm getting so used to... It's weird, turn the filter off and it's on. I'll have to turn the filter on once we swap to the other games. It'll get a bit sharper. This is quite cool. He's up on his boobies again. <laughs> boobies! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's random. I wonder if that means something else in Japanese. Booby? This is forever going to be known as the booby game. Booby booby. He's obsessed. I need that on my phone as my uh, text message tone. <laughs> Maybe you do get an extra move if you eat the fish in here, I don't know. This guy ain't got no boobies. You got one life. Baby, go. 
の力だよ言ったよ科学的だよ科学の力だよ科学的だよ科学は万能だって言ったよ<笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ Every time she said that, though, a lot. Oh, Boo Boo just got to death. Get my ass again. Boo Boo's theory is perfect. Kids dynamite. Oh, wait, when you go down the bottom, they come down fast. One more credit on him, man. Oh, I need to get some booby revenge. Oh, that's gonna come very fast. No! He's ruining me. Damn it. Well, that's, that's quite good fun. It's quite an interesting one. Oh, gotta use the spinner. I think there's only one spinner game left, though. And that is, um... Camel Troy. Or as I like to call it, Camel Toe. Quite an odd name for a game, I was. This is quite good. It's definitely the spinner that makes this game loads better. Basically, you've got to get the ball to the end. To the end. So let's do the let's do the easy goes. You got to turn it around. You got a time limit as well, so you got. Wait, that needs to be easy. Yeah, we tried that. Can I return? So I'll check it back on if you want to have a look at it. Club. 
No, unfortunately it's not. It does look... It, I wonder if that game took, uh, took ideas from this. Too fast then. How fast can you spin it? Yeah, I'll check it back on if you want, but yeah, you can spin fast. How can I return a uh, um, return of uh, dough is on you? Yeah? I think there's only two Arcanite games. The first one and um, Arcanite Return. Oh, the Arcanite uh, Revenge of uh, Dough. I don't think uh, just Arcanite Returns is on you. Yeah? On Mo Tavern. Oh, it does have returns as well, does it? Okay. I didn't couldn't have played that one then. I don't mind this game either. I think it's alright. I wonder if you can do tricks with this, like flicking the ball up. Like that. Oh no, 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 I'm there then drop. Ah, not fast enough. Like East, that doesn't it? East, the ideal utopia. Once a country so as free as the wind. Once a country where people are as free as the wind. You gotta say in Hawkins' voice, on East. on this one. Over 40 seconds. Oh wait. Yeah, it, it is quite playable. I know what you mean about Super Monkey Ball. Yep, a great course, is he? Yeah, I love these games. Alright, so once you've done the course, then you go start again. Come 
one. Oh, that was pretty good. I'm still in the middle of trying to finish them all. I still got a few to go. Probably been breaking you. Nice. Train yourself then. I don't think I've ever been in a pub in Brighton. More tricky. Or camel go. Camel try. I wonder if the sequel to this was called Moose Knuckle. Seconds left. Oh, well. Spending too fast there. That easier than the uh, basic one. Oh, meet this girl, look. That's what it was all about. And they live happily ever after. 
<laughs> That's cool. What if it keeps the high school sisters? Okay, let's try the uh, expert course set. Maybe. I doubt it. Oh, I was lucky getting past them. Oh yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to do that tomorrow. Definitely. I'm going to make it happen. I'm not going to sleep tonight, I'm just going to practice Arcanite all night. That's my plan for, that's my plan for the weekend. I don't think I could ever see me doing that. Those two second time things are a bit of a nightmare, aren't they? Maybe I'll. <laughs> the, uh, on the machine, the marquee lights up rather nice as well. It'd make a nice night light. Is that time based or something? Can't get out of it. How am I going to get out of that? Uh, I'm stuck. Oh, you can press the button. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. I'm dead.
Wart. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you probably you probably do I didn't really think of that. I suppose it's not too bad I know where I'm turning. If it is seriously doing the red in, I'll change I'll change game. Good luck. Like oh, if I touch one more there, man, I wouldn't have made it. Damn, I didn't see her. You might not be kidding. It's a tricky level, this one. So let's continue. I think I'd be feeling a bit funny if I was watching this mind. Oh, do you see those minuses? That's naughty. I'm in. The final trial. Can't scare you now. I quite like this game. Oh god, that's nasty. Way off then. Mm. It's quite tricky, isn't it? It is literally one life per credit. Getting hit, it's quite
Got it. Yeah, I know, that's a bit that's especially <laughs> I got caught the first time, didn't I? Bouncing off each side. I took a fair bit of time off me. One peaceful day, a strange dream. Try the special one, know me. Ten rounds on this one. ones as well, mate. Oh, that's brutal. That's not funny. Well, oh, I tell you, if you're good enough there, you could probably hog some extra time. Too bad. Gotta watch out for those brown dots now. Oh, wrong way. A bit too fast then. more to go. It's quite a funky game, this. Five seconds in here as well, yeah. God, that's not funny. That's nasty. Wolf four. This is tricky. Okay. You've got to get that right, haven't you? You've got to basically do the spin around thing. That's a hard one. I 
done. Smash that one. Whoop. Did it on the second try? These are a nightmare. Oh, did it off. They were a bit tricky, the ones that were flat ones. So, so panic. Not to... Get... Get 50, but look at that. Smash. Let's try that one again. Oh, that, that's a killer. Oh, my God. ages in trying to get that five seconds. Seconds. Let me try and get rid of these a minute. Um, oh, good 
dodge it. Uh oh. That's nasty. Oh no. A nasty corner that is, isn't it? Past it. Oh, that was lucky end. It is, yeah. Final trial. That's tricky. That's tricky. That's very tricky. Oh, God. Very free. Really odd. This is going to be the hardest one. I didn't break five. Solid. That's solid. Look, you got to get the bounce. Solid. 
Okay. That's cool. I had a quick look at it. I didn't. I didn't notice. Supposed to one look at that, but that's cool. <laughs> Managed to continue it as well. Oh no! Ah, oh, man, that's solid. I got through it as well. <laughs> yeah, they must have added quite a bit to it. Especially with an extra gig. Hard to get out. Oh no! Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny at the end. The exit was there as well. Lucky. Look at that. That was super lucky, that was. Who's uh, Eureka Kelly? We did it, we did it. Okay, that was fun. Yeah, a lot of credits, but it was fun. All right, I can only returns. That's the one we missed. See if I've learned a trick or two on this spinner. <laughs> Probably not. Eleven, is it?
Well, that looks nice, sir. My God, knock and I game. I can pass the first level on my first go. Shocking. Shocking all those. This one's obviously the, the last one. Then, isn't it? No, I'm going to swap to some other games now. It's just the last spinning game. I wanted to go through them all. We'll get back into the meat and potatoes right now. I wasn't expecting it to come out then. This one's quite cool. Aww. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it a little bit better. You wouldn't think so, mind, but... Gold ones are a bit of a nightmare, aren't they? Oh my god. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I've never played this one either. Every one of them. Yep, every one of them. Not fast enough. Can't do level two. Music starts going when you die. Oh, I bet there's only that one left as well there. Oh, 
Oh, did it? Games take some reaction. Nearly. Okay. Haunted the power up. I thought I was over them. my last two credits and then we'll go to the, well, I'll take the SD card out. That's a shit you gotta take the SD card out. Tell you what though, if you have got to do that, I bet the point, the, um, I bet it might be possible to hack it. I guess speedy. Well, last guy. <laughs> I tried to flick it. Oh, you get. Okay, one more crowd there because I was, I was pretty dreadful. Oh, spinning skills have gone. More spin out. following it in as well well that seems fun right hang on it let me uh let me turn this off it's sd cards but i like me to get out as well got it clips in it's one of those like spring loaded ones and you've got to you've got to push it in pretty far right, okay that's the spinner controller okay that was fun Different to play in some spinner games. Out of the way. Just make sure I put the SD card safe as well. Right, there we go. Let's suck it up. Um, let me uh, just put the spinner, the card thing away, so I don't lose it. 
Now we got all the other games out. I am going to turn that uh, filter on because it turns the filter off. They definitely made a mistake with that. They messed that filter selection up. Yeah, that's back in the box, safe. So it's on Lucy. See, I'm in the music now. Yeah, made all three Akanoi games. Right, so we got the joystick. So we've got some nice games in it. Chack and Pop, which is pretty much the game before Bubble Bobble. It's a bit of an odd game. Uh, Outer Zone, which I'm not sure if I've ever played. Fairland Story. Legend of Kage. Haley's Comet, which is a good game. Uh, Bubble Bobble, classic. Kiki Kikai, not overly fussed on it, but I'll give it a go. Scramble Formations, pretty good. Rastan, solid. <laughs> Kurukuko Taiga, class. Ramius, I played that before, that's a bit odd. Rainbow Islands Extra, which is class. Zine Story, brilliant. Tatsujin, class. Don Don Con Don, I never really got on that well in the PC Engine one, but. The arcade one does look a bit nicer. I really like Vault, Vault Feed. <laughs> that is as well, is it? Cool. I think I've played that a little bit. Violence Fight. Kadesh. I love Kadesh. Uh, Mizubuku, Mizubaku. Adventure or Liquid Kids, as people call it on the PC Engine. That's good. Gun Frontier. Yeah, Rasslin's uh, the shiz. Runak as well. Or what was the other name for it? Um, Raul. That's it. Hattrick Hero. Not really in sports games. The Ninja Kids beat map is quite interesting. Metal Black. Class. Ray Force. Also class. Kaiser Nut. Kaiser Nuckle. Yeah, I've played that. It's, it's quite interesting, that, isn't it? Yeah, I like Volfield. It's quite a cool game. Yeah, Growl. Darius Gaiden. Classic. Bubble Symphony. Not really played it much, but it's nice. Oh, this, 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 this is. Elevate the action returns. It's a damn good game, guys. Was a bottle. Old memories. And Dankuga. So, I want to try out. Uh, let's have a look. There's a Harry's comment. Oh, first I want to turn the filter. I want to turn the filter on because it'll make it nice and sharp, which is back to front. Give us joystick a try now as well. This is quite hefty. There's a bit of heft to it. It does have autofire set up as well on the other buttons on this, which is with the Ashes City. I tell you what, on a TV this doesn't feel half bad. Joystick's a little bit weird to use because I can't rest my palm on it. I like the skin. I remember on the arcade, uh, on the machine I first ever seen this, if you turned the machine off and held up, there was a button on the top there. If you held the button down, you get um, loads of credits. The arcade stick feels pretty decent. a decent weapon up when you get to this point. Yeah, 
Here we go, one. Try and get to Haley's comment. I don't know if guys have ever played this game. It's a, it's a pretty decent old shoot, but. Joystick feels sturdy. It's a bit smaller, so I am trying to hold it with my hands on the on the deck. Fire then. Come on, Haley's coming. Ah, I thought I had it. Yeah, it is. It's the mechanism's really nice on it, and it it, it it makes a nice sort of click in and click out. And then you turn in, you can feel it moving around the rails on the inside. Then you click in, and then it clicks back into place. Probably most of the money of the unit is actually on the turning screen mechanism. So one more go this. Probably the mechanism is quite pricey, I expect. Machine does have a bit of a heft, I think, because of it. <laughs> Boost is quite handy to get up to the heaviest car to be faster. The joystick does have a little bit of throw on it, a little bit more than I would normally like. I think because my hands are down on the deck and they're on the bottom of the stick, it feels a bit, a bit more than it normally would, so I'm not resting on it. It. 
elevator action returns is probably worth it on its own. That's a really cool game, guys. Like that game a lot. It emulates properly as well. It emulates the um, knocking the lights out and stuff, and Ming doesn't do that. It works perfectly on Ming, apart from you can't knock any of the lights out, the effect doesn't work. Try with the Astro City um, mini stick as well. I think I might be a little bit better, to be honest. The stick is all right, but it, it's a bit. Like I say, is it, there's no palm room on it at all, so I am resting on the deck, which I think is making it feel like it's um, much bigger throw than it actually is. I think our mechanism is, uh, it feels nicely made. This is a pretty nice old shoot this is. I don't think I could um, use the joystick for that much, so I'm starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable now. Because there's no palm room on it. Oh, I'd like, but depends if you like palm room. Base is a little bit too small, I would say.
I'm sure this is on um, Arcade Arcades. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm using the joystick. It's, it's quite small, the joystick, actually. It's heavy. It's uh, 10 inch wide by um, 4.5 inch uh, deep. It's not huge for a joystick. Like a giant controller, yeah. Nothing wrong with it, it's got nice buttons and stuff on it, and it's got a nice joystick on it as well. It's just, it's, it's, it's a bit smaller and there's no palm room. Alright. Fun game, Buzz. Right, okay, so... Just play some random stuff. So, I'm gonna have to go of um, elevator action. Do like a scheme. One moment. I don't mean dev, I mean like sort of um deep like if you know what I mean. So like from the back to the front there's only four and a half inches. So they they got the autofire set, perfect for them. Hefty, it's just not. Shoot the lights out. You can't in me. It doesn't work. You don't get you don't get the bloody um, flicker in the lights and stuff. Yeah, there's no palm rest at all. I'm resting my palms on the desk, and then I got my fingers up at an angle onto the stick. It is starting to get a little bit uncomfortable. I need stick though. If you would, if you go in places, you're taking it with you. Andy for that. <laughs> I like a real tie bar, right? Oh, 
this, it's all like really sharp and uh, pixelated, you know. And that's with the filter on. They messed that up. Yeah, that would probably work quite well, actually. I love this game. Hard points for you as well. They keep coming. Crush the old order and create a new society! <laughs> So if you guys have never played this game, it's well worth playing. It's great. On main, you can't shoot the lights out. I like can shoot the power there and the lights all go out. I mean, it didn't do anything. You get extra points on this as well by um, if you melee everything. Them with a lift as well, but they can also crush you. Okay, I'm going for it. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. 
can you go in the doors? If you pull down, you can go the, in and out the doors fast. You gotta watch, you can get crushed on the lift, so. Ah, uh, let's take a machine gun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually playing this alright. I am struggling with the double tapping, but... Shame this only ever came out in the sun. It's such a cool game. Top of here is always quite hard to do without actually losing a light. I go for an engine, I don't need that. Claims this protection. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. It just only came out in the Saturn for some reason. Saturn versions were for fortune, that was all. Yeah, maybe. Well, I still remember of playing it anyway.
go and see if I can get Angie. Sometimes it's stuff with it. Up there quickly and throw a grenade. It's quite funny to kill things by jumping. Same zone as well. Oh. Ah, shit. You can normally do our big pretty fast as well. I forgot you can, you can jump across it really fast and get to the end. Ignore the um, thing. Let's just go in it. Oh, you shot me! Oh, you if you're fast enough, you can hop across really fast. We're leaving now. Yeah, it, it it it's worth quite a bit. No more lies. Oh, you shit. I should continue. Oh, I can do it. Gotta move the list, it's gonna push me. Get the guy in the bog. We don't have the missiles. Just get... Thank you. 
Sorry, we can't straighten this and look at chaff. Run this bit could be a bit of hard work. Run, 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 run. Guy in the box. Ah, oh, I missed him. If you shoot in the right place for you, you can get... Life ends just because I wanted that weapon. I couldn't remember the place you actually stand. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. Yep, yep, no worries, we'll do our next the unreleased one. That's the uh, Dang Dang Kaiko or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's 400 there. Uh. Yep, we'll do the unreleased game next. Should keep my missile. 
Oh, the fire is handy on this, but it's not handy because sometimes you've got to keep your missiles. You've got to be spearing with them. You need to go down here and shoot the electric. It's handy to keep your missiles on this way. From jumping time. If you keep your missiles, you can shoot that guy at the top. You can miss them and kill him. I'm rushing around, playing like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, the one life is. Bad idea. Oh. Yeah, the music's really nice in this game. Mm. He fell down there then. You got quite a lot of time once it starts making the noise. Mm. I'm wait for the lift to come Emergency. back down. Emergency. Oh, you got to check a grenade there. Literally right off the edge. Right at the top of this uh, lift. Yeah. 
can go that far from the chuck a chuck a grenade but... Oh, I forgot if you do that, she misses. Yeah, this is one of those like um, methodical games. Where if you take your time and you know everything, you can sort of work your way through it. Anyway. I'll check the Astro City stick in you know, we'll soon. We'll try it out with that. See if the button layout and everything is the same. I've played this before. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Feels weird with a tiny stick. I don't know why. This feels wrong. Yeah, you can use the Astro one, apparently. I haven't actually tried yet, but apparently you can. I like the Astro stick as well, it's really good. Okay. If you can juggle it, man. One of his body specials. Graphics are quite nice in this. No, you can't. Um, I think there's two beat maps on here. I've definitely played this on me. Round one. Fight. I'm struggling to get used to this tiny stick, mate. I've got it, Got my moves down. Um, yeah, I think it was it was supposed to be unreleased. Five beat map, it's quite good. It's quite cool, you can smash through and uh, go next to levels. Oh, I think I 
get the punch in time. Oh, he's blocked it. Right, I'm gonna try the Astro City stick. This little stick is annoying me. Just don't find it comfortable. Let's give it a try. Sticks alright, but you know me, I'm used to a big one. See if it does indeed work. Okay, if you heard. Oh, that's better. Not got my wrists up like I'm bloody typing on a bloody, uh, you know, really angled keyboard. Yep, indeed it does work. Go the bingo. As you are. Round one. Yeah, it does a bit. Fight. Run the move. That feels way better. <laughs> yeah, violence though is cool. Hop back as well. I've got hop forward though, but hop back. Games you want me to look at, or fight? Okay, that's a bit, that's a bit of a shit movie. Force, okay. Mada, mada, dana. Round two. Fight. Well, it's quite an interesting beat, Bob. Me twice. We did. Quite cool are those moves like smash the background up. Okay, cool. We'll do that next. Um, yeah, I suppose the. the the way the characters animate and stuff is quite similar, isn't it? Like Mitsurugi! Wins! Love the eccentric speech in that game. Take it, take it, take it! It's cool, we've got the boxing, we've got a little small ring as well.
Go to the street then. Very start. Kick my ass. I'm going to fill the box again. I'll have one more go of this then. And then um, I'll go grab a drink and then we'll chuck a refills on. In fact, time's getting on there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty fun. I've played this before on MIM. So, to get back to the menus, is it two buttons together? This is the only problem. I haven't got the menu button. Let me see if there's a button combination. Okay, that is a slight snag. Can I press menu on the machine? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, so you can use the Astro City one, but you haven't got the menu button. You can't get back to the menu. It's a nice game, this is Reforce. Let me go and grab a drink here a minute. Right now, in a sec. I'd be a quick poo if it was. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is. It's amazing how this game have always stayed cheap. It's a really good game.
I'm going to say something now. Last night when I was playing, I was quite feeling the lag. But tonight, I'm not feeling it as much. Especially now using this stick, it feels a lot more responsive. It is obviously seven, but this is actually quite reasonable, i got to be honest. I'll have to try Darius out as well. Cool wallpaper as well. It does have some um, vertical sync issues, doesn't it, on the vertical games, which I suppose some, even some of the Mr. stuff can have that, to be honest. I suppose why you actually play these on the TV. It does feel reasonably responsive. It feels like playing an emulator. Pity I can't test the lag on a TV. You need a proper lag tester, which I haven't got. On the actual unit, though, it is about five frames. Oh, I about that. At least all the facts are working. Yeah, it is good. I like this game a lot as well. Saturn version is essentially better than the arcade as well, isn't it? You've got the Saturn mode with all the, um, the extra effects. Yeah, there's some nice games on here. It's good. No, I've got the filter on and it takes the filter off. There is no scan lines. Because you can't go back. I'll show you the filters on, you know. You can stretch it wide, it's going to look crap. I've got the filter on, but the filter on turns the filter off. If I turn the filter off, you get bilinear filtering, so it's, it's like be a little bit smoothed out and blurry. That's the only options on it. But they, they definitely messed up the, um, the filter option. And when you're in-game, there is no filter you can turn on or off. Let's try again. 
My stereo sound on the uh, music. Yeah, the filter's on, but it's off. Yeah, it does have nice tunes to skip. Wreck of this, why not? then do <laughs> Yeah, Zuntard had made some class tunes, didn't he? Quite different with the music as well, one to the to the norm. Sequels weren't bad either, they were pretty good. For 3D shmups at the time, they were pretty decent.
Scrolling lasers are going really far in the background as well. Yeah, that's right. I can't remember. I can't remember the bosses. It was such a long time ago. I think the last time I played this was probably back on Saturn when I had it. Actually played, you know, properly played it. So I don't want to spend too long in each game if I can help it, but I did get into Campbell Tribe a bit. <laughs> I quite like Alpha Drive, it's Sounds nice, it's got a nice stereo sound. You know, the sound function around the headset. I need to give the pad a good go as well. I wasn't too sure about the pad when I picked up and tried the D-pad. It seems a little bit, there's not much pivot to it, if you know what I mean. But um, when I did try it out, it seemed perfectly fine. Nothing feels as nice as the Astro City pad, right? But it did seem perfectly fine, so. He's got that little bit of a V-Sync issue. Not if it's getting in my way, Mike, but... There. Like I said, it, it, it's not really stopped me playing or anything, but it is there when you look. The Astro City has got that mind as well on, on vertical games. It doesn't have that vertical sync on, option on. Like I say, some of the Mister stuff has got it as well. Unless you mess around with the um, screen resolution and stuff. The aspect ratio to get it to get it perfect. Ah, oh, what do I do after?
Missile got in my way. Balls off. Yeah, it is. Oh, Daddy Mills is wicked. That was a terrible dodge. Yeah, okay, we'll do our next. After these two lives, we'll play Metal Black. I do like Metal Black. The cool effect then when you go into the atmosphere. I called you uh, the raw um, arcade tunes, like it's rather nice. I'm picking them up, eh? <laughs> Should have felt. Oops, one next right there. It's 
Tech Battle Gregor, though, isn't it? I think, I'm not entirely sure, I think it might be about 160, I think it is. I think mean, they're charging a bit more for it. It could be 140. I think the mechanism obviously costs quite a bit. I think if I was going to buy in now after playing it, I think I would, um, I would just get the carbon spinner. Obviously, I can get the uh, Astro City joystick to work better. It's definitely better than the, the stick you could buy for it. Feels much better playing with this. to rest your palms on uh, the same height as the stick is, is very nice. Exactly the same reason why I don't like those monster joysticks that you, you, YouTubers going on about. Not to buy monster joysticks, but it, they're shit. One, the sticks are too high in them, and two, there's absolutely no palm room at all on them. And they're just horrible to use. I was using one for about an hour or two in the Play Expo once and my hands were killing me after. And because they don't sink the sand with stick down inside, the, the shaft is actually too big. You know me, I like a big stick, but I don't like a big shaft. So it's too high, you really sort of bend in your wrists up trying to use them. They're not very good, man. I think, I think the guy who making it, who's making them, could, um, could improve them quite a bit by sinking the stick down inside, stick, inside the sticks, maybe about an inch. Yeah. Not too much, right? just a bit of palming, you know? Just something to rest your wrists on as you're playing. Right, okay. Middle of black, is it? Yeah, like most joysticks are meant to be blow, aren't they? They're meant to be not, not mounted directly to like a thin metal plate. They're mostly, that's why they're on like little risers underneath. Otherwise, the actual shaft is too long, which then you've got to raise your wrists up to play. And the monster ones are like that. It's like putting a sandwich stick up against like a, a thin piece of plexi. Well, it, you know, it's, in some situations, a long shaft is pretty good. You know, I can see the advantage in certain situations. It was supposed to be Darius 3, wasn't it, apparently? They changed it last minute.
hell they are. It's quite tricky to just get back to a while after a level or two. cool the boss actually collects those things as well as me. So this all the fire and then destroy him for you, does it? Brilliant. Could be ninja frogs. They look like frogs, I don't know what they are. Yeah, it is, it is a Frankenstein Darius, essentially. It is a good game, though. I do like the backgrounds they've chose for these to check on, like. It's quite bad you get these little bonus uh, levels in between as well. Yeah, I mean, I think vertical ones are my favourite mine, to be honest, but I, I, I like them both, to be honest. It's like space fleas, isn't it? Really? Like, I don't know why. Mind me fleas. Oh, I got no problems with a stick dodging or anything. So, but like can't be that bad. I'm expecting that mine, but you know.
Yeah, they're a little bit different than the Darius games, eh? That reminds me of um, World of One. The news channel years ago. They sort of Darius enemies, isn't they? But a little bit different if you know. What I mean. The ship looks like a like a sperm whale. It's a nice game though. Can use my bomb. Moonfish or sunfish? Sunfish, I think they're called. They're huge, yeah. Right again. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of games got lost during that um, era, didn't they? Like that one that got released um, lately, what's it called? Um, Clockwork Aquarius. Let's have another go. The same way I think about 3D, we did miss out on a lot of stuff for a while, didn't we? To be honest. Good to see uh, like shrubs and uh, you know scrolling uh, platform games and beat maps are all starting to make a comeback now, especially due to the indie scene. They are proven still popular, like maybe not at the 50, 60 quid you know, sort of price, like but. At the sort of like um, 10 to 20 quid price, they seem to be really popular. It's a big clip. Tato are still around, there's still lots of arcades in Japan owned by him. Including the most famous one, Hey. They're owned by Tato, that's owned by Tato. Heroes Arcade Yard. Oh, sorry, Heroes Entertainment Yard. That's our KK. Um, I think they still make arcade games. Mainly like the 3D games these days, or I think. Yeah, it was. It definitely took a bit of a step back in some ways. Especially when you look back at um, the 32 era of consoles, 3D just hasn't aged that well. Still some of the games are fun, like, but um, yeah, 3D hasn't aged well at all from that, that sort of generation. Yeah, I think they might still make arcade games. I think.
avoided. That's it. Remember to try and keep my bombs so that one bit when uh, loads of turn up on screen. I'll get too close to the front of them. This seems quite odd music to different space shooter this one. This track's a bit weird. Well it though. Unusual. Seems like jolly circus music or something. Yeah. Find those shells on the beach. Scoop when you pick them up as well, and there's one in there. So we'll scoop water. Out. I peek too early with a super. Might have. Stay at the back, not too bad. Sega the same, they? they they were pretty much a mega. A joint venture between the megas and Japanese. I didn't know that about Tato either. Yeah,
the century originally, oh, that's, that's a bit of a shame. Originally, they were um, Ukrainian. Sort of, well, started by Ukrainian. Ukrainian cheese and onion crisps. 1984. Alright, oh, okay. Okay, that's a cool game. I, I like that game. Let's have a go with something random, too. Let's try Ninja Kids. <laughs> nice. This is quite an unusual beat map, which I haven't really played much. I played a couple of times on main. So they're supposed to be puppet. Art style, isn't it? That's a bit. Went to them, jump and then go out the way. Oh, the special. Ah, 
Quite uh, tricky to dodge. He's a pain in the ass, isn't he? Okay, that works. <laughs> Left and right. Yeah, it is. You can roll into him hurting him as well. Thank you. Right, in case you can do that and then roll out the way. That works. Just jump all the way. Yeah. I shouldn't get in there and jump away fast. Definitely the trick with this game, isn't it? I didn't think it hit me. And you can jump all over the place as well. Just found the trick to the game. Yeah, I'm surprised that's not on as well. That's a pretty odd one as well, eh? You mean to 
do all that. Yeah, I think beating this game is a lot of this. As soon as you stop doing that, get in. Odd characters in this, isn't it? Ah. Can't just carry on doing it then. You have got to be careful of a few things. It's turned into a silly jumping game. Okay, that's, that's okay. Yeah, it's turned out a little bit of a jump in thing. Yeah, that does look like the one from um, Down My Ducks. That's alright. Straight on, Nonko Don. I used to live on the arcades. Runak. Meg Drifters is not bad. Gun Frontier. Hmm. Okay, let's have a go at this. This is a map I've not really played. I have tried it, but never really played it. All the planes are guns in here, basically, in this. Seemed a bit odd. Um, supposed to be good. Put the dodgy V sync came back. I do quite uh, cook here on the inside when they come in.
Yeah, I've not really played this game properly. Okay, so they come down the screen pretty fast. from the start. It does a little bit, it doesn't play like a racing game though. <laughs> it's weird the ships are guns. <laughs> anyway, I mean it does have that sort of rising look a bit, doesn't it? Especially when you got this bit at the beginning. That's very sort of battle breaker, isn't it? You start off just shooting a load of tanks. I wonder who copied who. Rising as well, mate. Eh? I've done the same as last time. Yeah. Got a cool bomb. Any power ups? We do get power ups. Tracking the coins over there. I think the coins are very rising as well, aren't they? Yeah, go on, I'll pick them. What if they had anything to do with this? Some of them rising. I destroyed it. Oh, hang on. Plug the iPad in. The hell's my iPad plug? Oh god, I'm plugged in. Right. Hang on. God, I needed the plug earlier. Start that again. Now. Can't reach it now. Plug it earlier. Did I plug it in? Sore wa mada boku ga osanakatta koro. SLG, uh... Is that the deluxe version of this you mean? The box set one? Yeah, I think that plays really well. I'm no good at it, mine, but um, 
He's good with a spinner. Welcome to the room as well. I'll have one more go in game of this and um, I'll try to get. Yeah, this is, it is very right and some of the, some of the stuff on this. Yeah, it does. It's definitely making me wonder. The way you pick up the bomb fragments as well. That's what those gold things are. They're bullets, isn't they? Or bomb fragments or whatever. And collecting coins as well for power-ups is quite rising. So, how many fragments do you need to get a big bomb? Which is also very rising. Strange. Yeah, what if someone of Ryzen had somebody who has left maybe joined Tato? Quite like the music as well. It's different. Graphics crutch of those things flying out sometimes. Ah, oh, that's cool. If you haven't played it before, that's wicked. You can have some fun. See, there is some really nice shooters on you. Yeah, you definitely have some fun if um, you haven't played a lot of the games before. Oh, right, okay, I died before I pressed it. <laughs> yeah, I have to look at sort of and see if it. Oh, they do snipe you. I'd actually kill quite quickly and fire it. Have you had yours delivered yet then, or are you still waiting? Oh, okay. I'm going to continue with it. Uh, have a look what you do in this bit. So I guess you're supposed to stay in the middle.
Let me try you in, yeah, it can't get any better. This is sort of a old school, isn't it? It's like a sort of modernish, but then it is definitely more like an old school shooter. Get a look at that then. Right, they're not coming down with me. And the birds, that's why you've raised them as well. Right, okay, that's interesting. You can definitely see the influences then. Seems pretty good to be honest. Right, I've only ever played it quickly played on your meme. I thought that seems a bit odd with the gun thing, but Okay. Calm down. Ah a little sniping bullet. I don't think the bomb can see you. <laughs> Bomb is a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, seems quite nice actually. That's definitely well worth when to come back to. Okay, let's try something else then. Oh, I wanted to try um, Darius out. I'm not sure if it, it might be on Tato Memories, I'm not sure. I can feel a little bit like on this. This one's a little bit worse, I think. It's all right, though, mine, but... This one's got a bit of shimmer, have you noticed that? Even the ho on horizontal, the background shimmering. It's not like an uneven scale, as well. Here's a damn good game. Oh, I'm 
büyüyecek ya. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's definitely this one feels. It works like, but definitely there's definitely some like this one you can feel it. It's not making me unplayable, I think. It definitely don't feel as tight as it normally is. Yeah, it's getting a little bit sound like a kit. Well, not sound like it hitches, doesn't it? It's got the proper um, arcade artwork as well in the background. It's just nice. I like how they changed the wallpaper per game. That's a, that's, uh, a nice touch. Shame I missed the power up.
Hey, I didn't know it was good. Oh, it's a heavy night, right? Let's hope I can remember the right place to stay when these lasers go. God, we can stay in the top. Why did I move? I'm safe, Andrew. Well, that's on my life now. Oh, you're popping in now, Jim. Um, we seem all right right now, yeah. Except there is a there is a little bit of lag. This one a little bit more than the others, but um, I got no problem. This seems perfectly playable, mate. I haven't noticed any the background. So there is shimmering on the background, and you can probably see it. I don't think you can see it on the stream, but it's not an old game, though. So I suppose a lot of these uh, mini consoles have all got the same thing. Um, okay, so we're back on the... That's a pretty cool game. I like that game. I love a little Kadash. Actually, so we've got Don, Dogger Don. Yeah, it's, it's really booming in, in, in the headset. Sounds really nice. That right is not on you. Yeah, it's a belt scroller, yeah. Hey, Prezi, how's it going, mate? Jump down. Oh. I never could get into this on the PC engine. You still have it. Remember, always used to be quite. Highly sort of um, reviewed, but I, I don't know what it was. I didn't quite get into it. Yeah, it is a new mini. Yeah, I can never get into this game. I, I, I don't know why. Slow, maybe? Yeah, it, it is just uh, scaling. It is slightly off. Um, well, let's try Kadash. <laughs> uh, Jack, Jack. Is he still alive? Still around? Try the ninja. See what this place like on there. 
what I'm thinking? Maybe the joystick it comes with it is a little bit laggy. The actual joystick itself, because when there's Astro City stick in here, which I know is definitely not laggy, it does seem more responsive. I like this game. I love the PC Engine version of this, it's really good. One more level, I think. The tricky to do is if you don't uh, level up. Oh, that's the um, the Sega Astro Mini versus. It is a lot of shrubs on your mind. to the boss.
Just about. I don't think there's anything over there. Or is there? No. Oh yeah, this class game has really, really good. to a town really, is do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, that's quite cool. It's weird, this is like a sort of adventure game. No. Don't think you've got to talk to anybody. Anyway. Right, let's go buy some equipment. What's that? It's a twin. Um, nothing else, is there? There'll be a woman in here, I'm sure there is. I haven't actually tried the um, four way on our game yet. To try and rash that. Um, yes, you. I think you can rotate them and it still works. But they don't look right. Yeah, it is a really good game. Right, let's top up and some... Uh... Why? It's in every shop. Expensive, isn't he? I'm sure you could only hit them when they stand up. Obviously not. Just run those games at a, a slower tap. You fire faster. Happy level. Okay, next. Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of dodge out is not funny. You need her. We love elevator action. They do take a little bit getting used to. I'm missing it in five hours today. Yeah. Doing alright. You're gonna have to hit five hours anyway. Drum freak, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing it all night. Eh? Um, I'm gonna go some of the ones up here. That's done. That's a really cool arcade game, but hard as hell. That's quite good, cool game as well. Maybe comet we played. There's an Akage. I'm gonna go. Kiki Kiki guy, give it a go. Game I'm not playing much of. Okay, I like the music. Turn him into cakes. You just gotta push him off an edge. Right? That's why Kelly does. Did you kill him? Yeah, they say, they say it sounds good in the headset. Well, he's going to be a bit sneaky then, if I something at me. Push him off and squash him. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about you. You sort the heat that one. Yeah, if you're on a ledge, it, that does kill him. Oh, do not want to do I? Bubble bubble tricks. Ah, do the bubble bubble tricks. We can jump up in between the walls and shoot them. Okay, that's that's pretty fun. Game I've I've played before, but not really put any time into it. Like. Out his own. It's an odd game tracker bot. This is a cool game. Jungle version as well, which is quite good. Come on, Pete. Still haven't done it. Yeah, it's like Jungle Hunt, basically. Oh, really? Do they? <laughs> so they haven't done any heating all this time. Fuck. It is pretty much jungle hunt. Like. Jungle hunt's a bit more fun though, because you've got Tarzan noises. Oh, OK. 
Okay, I don't want to attack him if I don't have to then. Made it. Oh, you have you, buddy. No wait, no you not. Wrong up, wrong button. It's not a bad little old arcade game. I was gonna go go Missy Amaguchi mate, but you know. Save the girl. Let's have another one. Oh, I suppose to jump in. Pirate Pete, you can do it. I want to save the pirate girl. Oh, this gets on the loot. Okay, we're almost there. Francine, how's it going? I try to jump in. Bastard. <laughs> okay, I didn't say much. Ah, uh, go for wind. Oh. 
So we'll go with um, well feed. I know. <laughs> I tried to jump over it. I like this game. Quite nice on the PC Engine, the Mega Drive. I always quite like these games. Oh, you get. Oh, it's one there. I didn't see it. Ah, oh, it's all going for me. Yeah, it's quick space, basically. Yeah, I like the Mega Drive version. The PC Engine one's good as well. They're pretty much the same, isn't they? Yeah, I quite like Chris style games as well. Gals Panic, yeah, they're my favourite ones. Oh, okay, I want to expand that. Stop and Pick it off. Oh, I probably could have gone through then. Oh, just as I move.
Oh, it's gone. <laughs> ah, dope. Power up. some different games. That's cool. I like that game. Um, there's a Baku adventure. That, that's nice. Try some of the older ones. Fast dance cars. There's an Akagi. Do do do. I repeat, ill quicks. I played this before Loop in the Third. It's quite, um, yeah, it's just really old. It's not that good actually. Luna Rescue. And no classic Space Invaders. Anything you want me to try? Are they doing an extra? What game do you release? Astro... Astro Ninja Man. Sounds awesome. Right, yeah. okay, give it a try. Uh, where was it? Uh, I've lost it now. Where the hell is it? It's always around here. Ah, adventure canoe. I was looking for canoe adventure. forward. This is bizarre, it's a shmup. How weird is that? That must be a beaver. I've this one before. No! Ruined my canoe. sounds of this game. Okay, we've got a green spear chucker on an island. No! <laughs> ah! See? 
Oh, they really wanted to include this. This one don't actually play that great. Shoot the skunk. Ooh, what's that? What is that? I thought it was a boat. Oh, they're supposed to be logs, are they? This is an odd one. Try and go in between those islands. Then it's got random music in this game. Come on! Get out of the way of the raft. The music on this is a random mess, isn't it? Ooh. Is it all going fast? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Very random on the sound. <laughs> There's a boss. That's weird to go bosses. Definitely not on for 1cc. That's, that's, that's an odd game. It plays really slow as well. That's quite slow as well, duping third. Yeah, shoot the skunk. <laughs> Shoot off soon, actually. Get after. Got this game, does it? Doo -doo. 
got to kill, I can't remember we're doing this. We've got to kill enemies. We've just got to get to the end of the level. Dope. Flamed. It's a bit crappy, you skip. I'm never great. Right. Yeah, it, 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 did you get a sequel on the NES as well? It did, I can't remember. Strong flame there knows me. Oh, God, this gives crap. Yeah, it's a bit crappy, Legend of Kage. Right, okay. Porto. Yeah, looks like a really cheap Ninja Gaiden. Try Kiki Kai Kai then, I'll make this the last game. It looks a bit crappy to visual arcade one. These days. Spicy me in. Okay. Oh, I forgot they fired you, didn't I? They just continue to fire you and things. To about I'm up to about 250 so far and I got a load of stuff for sale and even bought some of this flog so we'll see if I flog everything I probably get close enough money but um, we'll have to see we'll have to uh, we'll have to see let's have a look over any any bids on anything or whatever let's have a look Nothing on that, nothing on that. I put some stuff on Gumtree. <sighs> what a mistake that was. People are absolute muppet. I'm just getting, um, is it still for sale? For like half price? Or is it, uh, it's still for sale? Can you deliver? It's like, every truck wants it delivered. Some guy, I live in Wales, for start. He goes, um, it's only a, t a TV, an old TV I put it on for 60 quid. I live in Wales and he's like, uh, he goes, oh, is it uh, still for sale? I buy it. Can you deliver it to Cambridge? <laughs> I don't know, it just blows my mind, that is. He wants me to drive 250 miles to deliver him a 60 quid telly. He's just like, <laughs> what an idiot.
Yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff on the go. I might take it off Gumtree because just people are idiots. I got people just message me all the time. Oh, I'll buy it off you. Can you deliver? Oh, I'll buy it off you. I'll have a half price. Yeah, it probably is best putting it on a forum, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, deliver. That's probably not a bad idea. Let's have a look now. Uh, let's have a look whether I've got a few plays. I had some other Muppet then. Get it old of me going, oh yeah, um, oh, I, I, I've done my back in, oh this, I've had a heart attack, oh this, so can you deliver it to me? It's like, no. If you want it, come and get it. Yeah, so it's just basically, gum trees are, are lost, basically. <laughs> I did, yeah, I had the same. I had the same problem last time I put stuff on uh, Gumtree, but you know, I live in Wales. Can you deliver it to Cambridge? Are you kidding or what? It just, and it clearly states where where I'm from as well. Like it's just a, <laughs> when I write mine, thinks I'm going to do that. Like, I got some other guy there, and he's like, oh, I'll buy it off you, and I'll send um, a delivery company to pick it up. And I was like, well, I haven't got a box for it. So if you send it, I can't just give it to the delivery company, because I can't guarantee it's going to get there without being broken. So I was like, no, nah, you just got to pick it up. Like, Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. I wouldn't mind if there's some decent people on there, you know, but it just seems full of idiots. Everyone wants everyone wants everything for nothing, and uh, nobody wants to come picking ev anything up. So it's like, like I say, I'm just I'm just going to take the stuff off it basically, like as uh, fed up dealing with idiots. Yeah, it's, uh, I last time I put stuff in there, I took it off for the same reason. I thought, no, I'll I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, I've got a boxed, unopened, sealed, um, new 3DS, uh, the, the SNES collector's one, which you can't get anymore. I got that for sale with, uh, two games and, uh, two games, power supply and a case, basically all brand new sealed, never opened. So I got that for sale. Um, what else I got for sale? Xbox One. I dug that out and chucked that on it. I've got a couple of Mega Drive games. Um, what else did I put on there? Uh, I'll have a look now. Hang on. Oh, that's all I got on there at the moment. I sold my Switch. So I had a Switch Lite. Collect um, the uh, Pokemon Collectors one. I flogged that. Yeah, or UK VAC, that's why I normally go on. That's You're right, that's probably the best place to put it. Yeah, it could do. Um, What else is it? Yeah, you never know. I say the, um, the uh, 3DS is a going for a fair amount of cash. And uh, there's one, I'm, I'm watching one now, hang on, let me have a look at the watched one. There's one on there at the moment, which has got a couple of days left for it. And that's, it's, it's on bidding, 265 quid, and it's second hand as well, with three games and a case. And it's still got, still got three days left to go. And if you look at, if you look on eBay, they're selling for about 500 quid. So I put mine on it, brand new, everything. I'm willing to take less for it for like 400 quid because eBay's going to screw me over about 60 quid worth of charges. Yeah, I could do. I might. Do, I didn't think of doing that, to be honest. 
So I like I'm willing to take it, you know, less for that like, but if I can get like three hundred quid for it, I'd be happy, basically. And it, that's that's definitely going for way cheaper than uh, they are on eBay as well. I got, I say I got to think of a couple of other things to flog as well. So I don't know. I got stuff, but if <laughs> if you want to get rid of it, anyway, that's the thing. I know, like to get a to get a um... yeah. The 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 three DS is they they are going for quite a bit of money. Well, it's more now. Now it's about thirteen percent. It's about thirteen point five percent. It's a it's a fair whack now. Yeah, they 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 price they, their prices have gone way up. Like, and uh, they've changed the way they do the money now as well. So they don't take the small amount and then PayPal take an amount. It's just they just take the amount. I hope they don't charge you on top again like they used to. So yeah, so to get a few licks in here, I I, I am gonna have to I am gonna have to be brutal. I think <laughs> I've got a plan. I, I I do have a plan of where I'm gonna put it, but I haven't quite worked out how I'm gonna put it there. I I need to find some measurements of uh, view licks cabs just to give me an idea what sort of size it is and what I can do with it. That's what I need to do this weekend, I think, is just to have a look up Vulix cabs, uh, have a look at some sizes and stuff and uh, models. I've seen, I've been looking, there's a there's a couple on UK VAC for about 900 quid and uh, that website uh, you sent in, there's a couple on there going for what, 980 quid or the... Um, the diamond blue one is about grand and a half. I think that might be a little bit out of... Uh, well, I suppose I could get a grand and a half, but it might take me a while to get it. That might be slightly like my sort of price. But I, I figure I figure if I could flog some stuff and then add some stuff for my, uh, each month for when I get paid or whatever to it, it might not take me too long to get one. And then I'm going to have to figure out what I need to connect everything up. Yeah, that, in that way, it's, sometimes it's, it's better doing it, isn't it? I've done that with a few people as well. Or I've taken stuff off there, and they've contacted me and said, oh, do you still want to sell it? I was like, oh, all right then. Yeah, so I, I, I may have to have a look for a few more stuff. To see where I can flog. I know I got, I got loads of games I could flog. I don't know. I just need that. The only problem with eBay is like you look at prices on there, and because uh, you because you're paying the fees, people have put stuff up. So it's a bit of a false economy in lots of ways. Like I said, it, you are better off on forums like. I may need to look into doing that actually. Right. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot. I think it's that time. I think it's time to go. I think. Ah, oh, the Vulix will come in nothing. It'll just be the Vulix scab. If you if you want, like uh, I don't know, like a. Oh, what do you call the bloody Teato? The one the Street Fighter and everything r runs on? You're talking about a grand and a half for one then? Yeah, I've seen something about that as well. Changing the monitors out. you got to get some brackets to to fit it in. Yeah. That's what I thought. I, I'd, I'd probably go for the roundabout. The, the cheaper one and then just go for that. And then tidy it up a bit. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, guys. Anyway, it was fun playing on the uh, Egret. It's definitely better than I was thinking. It's it's definitely got five frames of lag on the screen when you're actually playing it on the machine because I've, I've um, measured the uh, recordings frame by frame. Yeah, night all as well. So, But it, it definitely seems better on the machine. It seems better with the Astro stick as well. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, I'll do a review of it tomorrow anyway. 
I just want to play around with a few more things on it before I uh, do an actual review. So, anyway, guys, cheers for that. That was fun. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, guys? Take care. And nighty-night.